Jingle bell, jingle, jingle, jingle bell. <laughs> Jingle bells. I'm using my jingle bell uh, regularly that I made. I have like tutorials on, or I have one tutorial on how to make your very own jingle bell regularly. I think somebody called it bell belgery. <laughs> Anyway, I told Ben I was going to use my jingle bells uh, this time. Belgary. Belgary. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Ralph? This is great for uh, irritating Santa. <laughs> I've been wanting people to make these and then go to the mall when Santa is there, you know, in Christmas time. And uh, you just annoy the hell out of him. <laughs> or like the bell ringer people, right? Just, just go up to a bell ringer and, and ring along with them. I'm sure they'd like that. <laughs> Because you're like uh, giving performance alongside a bell ringer. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna type in all the stuff I said I was gonna do because I'm gonna forget it. That way I can like scroll back and, and look at it again. Uh, two hand Bali, Bali song. Okay, that's the thing that I didn't know how to say, okay? I, I used to say bail song because I guess I read it wrong. Someone had wrote it and I read it wrong and I've always thought of it that way. But it's not. It's, apparently it's Bali song. Well, I kind of all you probably if you've seen me play, you've seen. <laughs> yeah, she, she probably does think it's Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, if you've seen my style, which I know you've seen it. If you've seen it before, then you'll you'll see that I do a lot of two-handed crisscrossing of my arms, crisscrossing this way when I play my two-handed stuff, and. Uh, I got that style from watching Bali song players on Instagram, right? I follow them. I have a few that are my favorite. Of course, everybody loves knife stuff. He's like a legend. And uh, I don't know, Pascal Bang. We follow them on Instagram. Uh, who's another one that I follow a lot? And they also play beglary. I think uh, one of the signature E-mans, knife stuff has a signature. I think his is, uh, which one is it? Cross the line, leave a rose, I think is his signature. But he's like really, really good at Bali song. He's good at beggary too. I think he's uh, on the AO2 crew. And anyway, I mentioned them because this is the kind of stuff that, you know, kind of see like when I do this number, do like this. I get all that from the style of play with the Bali song knife. Which I, I like to call it a butterfly knife. I just do. That's, that's how I always understood it to be. <laughs> and I know that it, that's not the correct way to say it, but you know, that's what I've always known it as. Uh, anyway, okay, getting into 
Bali song. Okay. It's a lot of underhand catching with your switch and then flipping back to your dominant hand. And then when you, when you do that, see how it, the, the arms are crossing, right? The arms cross. I wonder if it's like too windy here. windy. <laughs> I should move somewhere where there's less wind. Here, wait. Uh, about here, maybe. Yeah? If you can see me better. Okay, so anyway. When, when you're doing, when, when the arms are crossing this way, that's what I consider Bali Song style. So, you would do, you would turn your uh, opposite hand this way, upside down, right? I guess underhand. And that would be a good way to catch it. Then you could just do some slips. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try to remember the, the proper terminology. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still working on that, Mitch. I'm still working on it. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so that would be one of the moves that would get you into it. Then you'd catch it this way, slap it this way, catch it this way, slap it, catch it, underhand catch, Catch. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it like slowly, so that you can see it, it as slow as I can do it. <laughs> and you can probably kind of get the gist of it. So, there's a lot of that that happens. A lot of this number and that's just uh, makes it look a lot similar to if you were juggling a bell song in your hand and they do this a lot that's pretty much how I do it so okay I got that one down uh, what's the next thing oh okay back pedals and front pedals I kind of touched over them but I didn't really explain them well and I wanna, I wanna try to explain them better. Okay. We're gonna start with a back pedal. Okay, so the back pedal, the back pedal is you're gonna be using your dominant hand on top, because that's a good way to start. Your switch on bottom. Up hand grip, I guess low grip or, or underhand down. <laughs> Oh, your hand's gonna be down. Okay, so then you're grabbing it this way, right? If you can, if you can do. You can like follow along. Then you can do this. What time is it there? Oh, right now. It's uh, it's four. So it's four o'clock. Okay, in the afternoon. <laughs> okay, so this is a good way to start, right? Dominant up hand, switch down, holding this way and this way. Okay. See what I'm doing? You see, you see what's happening? Okay, now then, then what I'm gonna do is spin. My dominant hand does the, the, the first move. It spins upward, and when that happens, this switch hand is gonna go up like this to catch it that way, okay? And here's the part that gets confusing. As you can see, the hands have switched positions, yeah? Now, don't panic. <laughs> this is when this hand, this will release, this will swing upward. And do you see what I did? When I swung it up, this hand moved down. When this hand's moving down, this hand's moving backwards to catch it this way. Okay? So. See what's happening there? You're doing a rotation 
you're doing, damn it, I can't put my bow right away. <laughs> you're doing your hands like this. So think of doing this number, practice doing that. It's just moving in static position. You're not like using your beggary. It's just getting your arms used to that movement. And this is like you're pulling on a rope and you're making circles this way like that. And that will get you used to how it feels to do this because you're gonna be doing that with your arms. And <laughs> what do you want? Thank you. Okay, so that's back pedals. A little more slower, a little more detailed and, and explained better, I think. Uh, front, which you don't see very often, but I do it. Front is just the opposite of what you're doing. So you, your arms are gonna be doing, I can't put my dog away. No, you can't have it. You can't have it. Okay, first step, it was this way. For the back pedal, you're gonna go the opposite way for the front. And when you do the front, you're catching. You're, okay, wait, I have to do it before I can explain it. Okay, so you're catching it. You're, <laughs> you're catching it this way, releasing this one upward, catching it bottom releasing this one upward and catching it this way and your hands are going like this and it, like if you're pedaling a bicycle that's the front pedal i guess <sighs> okay what was what was the other thing two finger and mid finger slip flips okay <laughs> according to mitch i was ex i was describing slip flips incorrectly i was calling them roll wait was I calling them? Slips when really they were rolls. I think <laughs> I think that's what he said. Okay. So I want to clarify the proper way to do the slip flip, but I'm I'm still gonna call it a slip flip because I don't see nobody else doing it and I don't think it's got a name. But I'll I'll explain it better with the proper terms. That's a slip flip when you're rolling not slipping. <laughs> First you roll and then you slip. Okay? So it's a roll and then a slip. A roll and then a slip. Okay? So that is how you do this. That's one index slip flips. Now I started to do mid, which is the very same thing, but you're using your middle finger. The bad one. <laughs> and I do it from, I guess it's a, okay, this is where I need help. It's a zero turn, I think, or a G turn. I get confused, but whatever this is, I do that to get into my second finger to do the slip flip thing. It seems kind of dark here, dude. Can you see me? Okay, so anyway, that's my mid slip flip. So I'm going to do this exact same thing. It's a roll with the bead, and then you slip it. Then you, oh, I'm being lazy. I'm moving my finger when I should move the rope. Okay, so it's like you're doing one roll, doing a slip, another slip and that's how you do that now I started messing around with two fingers today and it's pretty much the same thing but you have to uh, realize that the trick of doing this trick that I'm doing involves a lot of I want to say slip <laughs> I say slip, but really it's roll. You have to be able to roll, do a, a whole roll around two fingers, and the only way to really do that is to, I guess, what's the best way to describe it? 
you got to make sure that your hand moves in such a way once it's rolling that the cord will will slip that's, that's why I call it slips because it's slipping but you have to be able to get that momentum to make it do two fingers and it, and it can happen you can do it I was doing it earlier today so I was like oh cool I'm gonna I'm gonna do that what's up David what's up okay. <laughs> so let me, let me start over okay so two finger slip flip humid out here. I think the humidity makes it a little harder for your for the cord to wrap and slip around which it's really rolling but technically it's slipping this way around. <laughs> There's slippage going on man. <laughs> but yeah it, it tends to get stuck while I'm outside. But there I think I got it. Yeah it's starting to travel. It's a little too sticky out here for that trick, but I can do it inside. Okay. What's the other thing I was gonna do? So it says, okay, rolling stops, rolling stops. <clears throat> rolling stops are cool. If you don't know how to do the rolling stop, and it looks a little bit uh, discouraging to do because it looks a little tricky it's, it's really not that bad <sighs> a rolling stop oh baby powder yeah you're right I didn't even think about David a rolling stop is and and okay I <laughs> this last copycat had a rolling stop it started off with a reverse rolling stop with the thumb okay let me, let me show you with the thumb this is this is what it really looks like, right? It's going around the thumb. And the Mitch couldn't get this. And I tried to explain it, but he just couldn't understand. He wanted to grab it with his fingers. You don't. You grab it with whatever whatever you're, you happen to be. And in this case, it was the thumb. The thumb and the index. Those are the only fingers that are supposed to grab it, okay? So for that, in that case, it's doing a roll around the thumb. When it comes back this way, you pinch it here with the same fingers that you were using. You don't use other fingers to do that. And he couldn't understand that. <laughs> Mitch. <laughs> hey, watch it. Watch it, man. Watch it. What are you doing? What are you Yeah, he was not getting that. <laughs> Born slippy. <laughs> yeah, man. That was the underground, wasn't it? Or no, underworld. That was underworld. I know my classic techno, man. I know that stuff. <laughs> okay, so rolling stops. He was he wasn't doing them quite right, but this is the proper way to do it. If you're going reverse. You're pinching it like this that's the stop then you're gonna roll it again and pinch it again that's another stop so you're supposed I can't do the thumb more than once unfortunately <laughs> without like a slip in between to keep the momentum going I just I've never really messed with it but I always just do them this way I do I do them to a forward I don't know if you can see that. It was a forward stall, I guess. I've done that a lot, but I just can't keep it going. And and all it is catching it with the same two fingers. Now, if you do it with uh, your index finger. <laughs> Yeah, Halo, represent. What are you doing? What's going on? What are you doing? I, I don't have any more. No, I don't have any more. Go, go play. Go enjoy the day. <laughs> go 
go play, go, go play. Now, do you want to? Here we go, you need to play, okay. Okay, I'm switching it up again. No pizza today, I ate Chinese food. <laughs> okay, so where was I? Rolling stops. Rolling stops for the index and the thumb. That's gonna be, uh, let me see, I have to do it first. I'm trapped with the other. Okay, there it is. I do them reverse. So I do them coming back to me like that. You know what? There's no light here, dude. I don't think there is. I want to be where there's light. So I can see it better. Okay. Oh. oh shoot, now I can't do it. Wait. There it is. It's like a pinch. It rolls and then you pinch it. It rolls and then you pinch it. Can't see anything here. There's too much glare. <laughs> oh. Back to where I was before. <laughs> You can probably see it better here anyway. I just can't see anything because I'm blind. Okay, so. I like to do them reverse. Reverse, I would pinch it, it would roll. I would pinch it, it would roll, it would pinch it. Okay, so that's just the reverse way to do it. When you do it uh, forward, I like to do them with my middle finger. <laughs> shot you the bird. Well, I like to do them with the middle finger and when I do them I let it I pinch it with the thumb so it's a thumb pinch a thumb pinch it goes around I pinch it goes around I pinch it's all pinchy pinch so that didn't work that didn't work it's too humid because like okay it is it is rolling it's a it's called roll <laughs> But the motherfucker's slipping, I'm sorry. It's slipping around the finger. That's the best way to describe it. And it's not happening right now for me because it's too humid outside. <laughs> South Texas. <laughs> but yeah, that's almost it. Okay, wait, no. That's it right there. That was hard to see. It was hard for me to see. But maybe you saw it. Okay, let me see. No, what are you doing? Um, where is my, what's the next thing? Aerial rolls. Okay, that's, that's fun. An aerial roll is when you do an aerial, but in the air, you're going to catch it with your finger. You're going to roll it. Like that. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, that looks snappy. I like that. That looked good. <clears throat> and do one more. Okay, so the trick of that is just once you throw the aerial, it's it's about mid, I want to say like horizontal plane. When it starts to do this number, Wait, I'm where, which way am I flipping it? I'm flipping it this way. Okay, so when, when it comes to here, so it's already done this much of a rotation, this is where you let it fall on your finger. Yeah, <laughs> just like that. Okay, so. I'll try it again. Just like that. That's just practice. If you can do rolls, 
And you can do aerials, you can put them both together. So that would, that's how, that's how you do that. Okay, what's next? Pendulums. I did that in a past copycat, Mitch didn't know what it was. And I've seen, I was doing it with thumb chucks long before I saw Matt doing it. But I saw him do it and that was cool. So this is a pendulum right here. Without dropping them. <laughs> I see, okay. A pendulum. I know. I got confused. A pendulum happens on a back back side. I'm just gonna call it back side. When you flip behind the hand like this, then it's coming up. It depends on how long your cord is. And the Dino that I've run mine kind of long. So it comes behind the hand. You release this bead. When that happens, this bead rests over your hand like this. Then you swing it with the momentum. is going to swing back this way. This bead's going to fall and this bead will hang. So like a pendulum. So if you think of it like a pendulum, see what's happening? I'm trying to do it like slow. That's a pendulum. And if it's got like another name, then someone needs to tell me because that's just the only name that I know it as. And it's fun to do. I'm going to try again. Now, that might happen a lot, pretty easily. Oh, I broke another zip tie. <laughs> <laughs> that happens quite a bit when it falls. But it's what's happening, what's causing that is, I guess you don't have enough snap in your wrist. You, it's, it's kind of a slight, oh, maybe it's not the wrist thing. I lie. You're just swinging. You're just swinging it in such a way. Damn, I was just dropping it over, is it? Are you giving me the evil eye? Give me that ball. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me the ball. No, give it. Oh. Now go get it. Oh, I'm nearing the end of this. Okay, wait. Oh no, low battery. <clears throat> okay, so that's a pendulum. And you need to have, I'm not gonna lie, you need to have long enough cord to do it. But you have to play with whatever sets you have to see how which one it works best with. If you can't, for whatever reason, let it, if you can't let it hang on your, on your hand like that, and then flip over and hang on this side, if that can't happen, you can always just catch it, in my opinion. If you catch it, let it swing, then it swings back this way, and then you catch it, release, and then it swings that way, and then you catch it this way. That, to me, qualifies the same. I think that's a pendulum too. Okay, good, good night, Ralph. Thanks for watching. Okay, so that leads me to my last thing. I have a minute to do it. I'm gonna show you real quick. It's kind of crazy, but it's uh, it's a backhand stall. Backhand stall kind of cool to do, so I'll just show you what it looks like. See what I did right there? Did you see that? The backhand stall is... Okay, I'm holding it from standard high grip, I guess, or thumb grip. I am, wait, is that what I'm doing? I'm trying to remember what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, okay. I'm 
holding it like this. This is my dominant hand. I'm going to let the thumb be a pivot point for it to turn this way. When that happens, it's coming back around and it's landing on my back hand or the back side of my hand and resting. From there, I can turn it back around. So I'll do that one more time real quick because I reached my time. Let's see. When I try to do it in an angle, you can see it better. I don't know if you can see that. Those were backhand stalls. I just started doing those today. I have my, my ninja utility belt with all this crazy debris, and I didn't get to play with any of it, really. Just the two or three. <laughs> but okay, I hope you learned something. I know it was kind of uh, a lot that I covered, but I think they were fun things. If you have any requests of anything that, you, that you've seen me do and you want me to kind of show you an easy way to do it, then hit me up and let me know. I'm not very good at doing the popular tricks, so it's got to be something that I've already done. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.